fire. People are still drawn to it. And even more intriguing are cases of spontaneous combustion. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of spontaneous combustion reactions. This one here takes a couple minutes. So we'll let that do its thing. And in the meantime, we'll do another one. Now, in here I have just some regular run-of-the-mill it's always nice to know your colleagues have confidence in you. <laughs> I have some cotton, uh, cotton, uh, uh, just flannel cotton. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to add a solid compound on top here. And you can see that the thing is really happening. Okay. Now I said this is a spontaneous combustion reaction, right? Where's the fire? Well, we don't have one <laughs> yet. Okay. Now, if we do have a fire, what do we normally do to put it out? We add water, right? This is a special reaction where in order to actually start the fire, we have to add water. So in this squirt bottle here, all I have is plain old water. Wait for it. None of these fumes are toxic, by the way. You'll all go home alive. And here we go. Burn it and close. That's okay with us. <laughs> 